Okay, boys and girls, Mike Kelly from AnimatorsForum.com as well as the iClone Forum. And um, somebody asked after I did my latest video, or not my latest, I guess, but but one of the videos yesterday, day before, about showing all these uh, these marching, um, I guess crusaders is what they are, uh, that I did in iClone. And uh, I, I was mentioning that there was some issues exporting from Anima through Exchange and iClone, and they said, so how did you overcome those? So I'm going to show you how I, how I did it. Uh, there may be other ways of doing this, but this is this is how I did it. Uh, first of all, I'm using Anima 3.5, um, and here's what I, what I want, let's say. I mean, this isn't what I wanted. This isn't how I did my video, but let, this is what I want. I want like 50 soldiers marching across, okay? That looks pretty cool, marching across. So, uh, so you define your path, and, and I'm not going to try to explain how to use um, uh, anima. Hopefully, you guys will uh, that are interested in this will either buy the program and learn how to use it or whatever. I'm just going to explain what I did to to get it into uh, iClone. So I put the soldiers on the path. These are actual custom avatars that I generated from Character Creator Three. These are uh, a level of detail avatars, lower level of detail avatars I export, and I can show you through that process too. But that's real simple. And if you if you have this, you can you can do that yourself. So, uh, and, and the motions. I also got the motions from Mixamo because I wanted this kind of stalking, uh, holding a sword motion. So, so I put those all in there and I got my path defined and my path I put 50 soldiers on and I said, okay, let's do that. Well, <laughs> in, uh, in exchange, that wouldn't even load in. Okay, so we have exchange here. When I went to go up here to open to this uh, this my project path, this one right here. So if we look over, see if I can extend this outward. No, I won't even let you extend it out. If you look at this this one here, this my project path, you'll see it's 450, 59 um, uh, K, whatever you want to call that. Um, uh, it's not, uh, yeah, 459 meg, I guess. Uh, because Exchange is a 32-bit program, it chokes on a lot of things and this is one of the things that choked on i'm not going to try to import it to show you the error because you just get it out of memory error or it'll just completely crash exchange which is even nicer it just, it just kind of goes away and disappears so nice um so that doesn't work and which is really unfortunate because iClone, which is a 64-bit program can handle that many, this many soldiers 50 it can handle 150 but you can't possibly get that through Exchange and because Exchange is only a 32-bit program and probably will be in my lifetime. By the time they come out with Exchange 8, I'll be dead and buried and you guys will go, oh, look at this old video by this dead guy. Um, but, but anyway, so, so what do you do? Okay, well, one thing you can do uh, is you can take the path that has the 50 on it and if we go to uh, the Path Tools... Something like that. Actually, I don't want to actually do. I don't want to generate a path. I want to go back here and uh, and, and click on this path, uh, this path, and I and what I did first was I took the path that had 50 and I put 25 on it. In other words, I I took a path, made 25, and then I duplicated the path. If you come up here, you can go to clone, create another path, just like that, and then I just laid it right on top of of the first path. Okay. So I'm not going to do that now because we don't want that. But that's what I did, and then I had so then I had uh, e each path had half as many people on it. But luckily, Anima will correctly uh, handle the collisions between those two paths and interlap. So when you played it, they still avoided each other. However, that still wouldn't import <laughs> into Exchange. When I when I came into here, I went up to open. And try. Actually, I take it back. I want to. I'm not going to show you this one either. But half path, the half path at 232 megs, actually came into Exchange, but I couldn't export it. When I went to file and went to export and tried to export it, it just crashed and blew out Exchange. So it wasn't even that I had. Oh, it came in. I thought, oh, it came in. That's great. And then it blew it up when I tried to export it. So. <laughs> So I ended up cutting the path into threes, and that's what I that's what I have here, and and I put it down to fifteen. I mean, obviously, fifteen three times fifteen is not fifty; it's forty five. But that was the closest I came to this, and and three does work. So when I did that, uh, here's here's the third, and and I could export it 
three times. Now, when I export it, you have to export it, you have to turn the paths off. So this path here, see here's a visibility icon right up here. So you go ahead and you turn off the paths. And even though the paths are not visible anymore, the soldiers still correctly, or the people, whatever you've got on this, on this path, will correctly avoid the other people that are on the path but are invisible, okay? So then you can export them one at a time. So I exported it, you know, that path, and then I exported that one, and then I exported that one. So I exported it three different times. What a pain in the ass to have to export, because it takes a long time to export out of anime. You, know, so you have to kind of go get a cup of coffee. And then, so I have to drink a lot of coffee because I had to do it three different times. <laughs> but that did work. I got it into Exchange, and then I was able to uh, to then export it. And now here, if you bring it in here, we'll bring in the path. So what you do is you just load in each path, put the path in, and you don't want to move them around because you want them to stay exactly in the same place that you that you exported them from. So we don't want to move anything. If you move them, then they're not gonna you know all all be in the right place, so they won't all avoid each other. So, but but if you just load them in. You export them correctly, and then you load them in correctly. Then they will all correctly avoid each other. And so by loading all the three paths, and you can look at the memory. This comes up here when it finally, look at this. It doesn't use anything. I mean, yes, it has some triangles and stuff, but in video memory, it's like nothing. iClone can handle 10 times this many people. But uh, So then once you load them in, then you've got to, you've got to uh, adjust each one. You've got to go in and add the performs to each one. So you go in, and then you go there, and you go to perform. You go that one. Uh, failed. Oh, that was weird. Okay, let's, uh, that was just weird. Uh, okay, let's try that one more time again. Let's go to perform. Perform. Oh, shoot. Okay, you know what? This, oh, at last, oh, I'm at the last frame. Right. You can't add a perform at the last frame. I'm sorry. I got to be at the first. Okay, here we go. One more time. Let's try this. Uh, this is so frustrating. It's just, it just so should be so much easier than this. Okay, so I have the first frame. And you notice they're walking through each other now because that's just the first path that's walking. So you got to go through this. Each of the performs. La da 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 da. Someday, gosh, I hope Exchange becomes. 64-bit in my lifetime. I, I really don't think it will. And, and I I only say that half facetiously because I'm an old guy and I could drop dead at any moment. But if if we see it within a year, I'll be amazed. It, it may be, you know, maybe sometime next year that we see it, if then. So, so then we go to the second one here. And then we click perform. Set the second one. Now the second one. Now we got the two paths walking together. So we're... we're we're slowly getting there. Bear with me, folks. We're almost there. And uh... <laughs> now, somebody also mentioned while this is performing, somebody mentioned that there's layers in Anima that you can do much the same thing. Uh, I, I guess I don't know Anima well enough. I couldn't find any place where there's layers. I know you can take the paths and you can hide individual paths, but I, I don't know where those uh, the layers that they're talking about are. So. Uh, so if you find those, or if anybody knows, you can let me know, and uh, that that might be another way of doing it, I guess. Um, but this way works. It it certainly wouldn't be any easier or or faster just having a layer. And so there we go. So now we got all of them. So there. So there's all of our 45, not quite 50 soldiers, all marching in iClone just fine. And uh, and so that's the way you can do it. So you can, I assume, if you have, you know, just imagine though iClone could handle 10 times as many. You could, you could have 150, but can you imagine how many, how many different exports you'd have to make out of <laughs> You'd have to have a lot more time left in your life than I do. Uh, I certainly don't have that much time. But there you go. So now we have all of, the, all of them together. So now when we play it on the timeline, uh, just play it. Then uh, they all march together. Yay, okay. So that's it, boys and girls. So hopefully that explains everything you need to know about I, I love Anima. Anima is a great program very versatile it's not perfect there's some things about it i i wish it wouldn't do or do differently but it's certainly well worth the money i think they've even lowered the price and and it works with iclone obviously but uh exchange could certainly be a whole lot better so that's what i do talk to you later